Hi friends, I can't believe it's June already. So I'm here today to kind of just sit down and do my makeup. I'm trying out a new angle so that I don't have to put my little um, sheet divider so you can't see the bed because a lot of the times the bed is a mess. Today I wanted to sit down and basically just do a look for you guys for the summer with some of the items that are, some of them are new, most of them are old and I just kind of like wanted to sit down and do a look since I haven't done a just a simple look here on my channel from start to finish. So first off I actually haven't moisturized my face. I'm just gonna put away my hair. I haven't washed my hair in this this is the longest time that i haven't washed my hair and i'm actually kind of like proud of it because it doesn't look too too bad I, it's definitely it's definitely due a wash tonight because she is not looking cute but just put that away does that look weird whatever so this is my most favorite moisturizer this is the la roche posay double repair face moisturizer spf 30 I wish this product had a higher SPF, but this is my most favorite thing. I don't normally, during the daytime, I don't normally layer skincare, mainly because I wear makeup and the more layers that you have on your face, the more the makeup kind of doesn't sit well, especially for me since I have oily skin and going into the summer months, that's even more like cloying on the face. It's just way too much. And this product is moisturizing and it has SPF at the same time. It kind of kills two birds in one stone. It's just my favorite. Some people have said that they found this really heavy. I just find that it's so perfect. You just have to let it sit on your face and make sure you actually just absorb before you apply anything on top of it. Because I feel like the anything, any stickiness or anything like that just kind of like disappears. And makeup applies so flawlessly over this. And I apply it. And one thing I like about this too is that it does not sting my eyes. And I apply it like literally so liberally and liberally on my neck as well. So. Next is eye cream. I never skip out on eye cream. My favorite during the daytime, I usually rotate what I wear. But my favorite during the daytime that I consistently wear is this Origins ginseng eye cream i i like that this is slightly brightening because it has like this fierce or whatever and it layers beautifully over the moisturizer it doesn't pill and it just makes my concealer sit nicely on underneath the eyes to make sure everything is brightened and moisturized so i love this stuff normally around the time when i'm waiting for the moisturizer to kind of sink into my skin and the eye cream to kind of settle you know you basically make sure that your skincare sits on your skin for a good like five to ten minutes before you play anything on top i apply my body moisturizer i actually purchased this biore uv water essence it's spf 50 plus pay plus plus pluses i know the pluses uh, count for something but i don't know but this product actually breaks me out so i just wanted to kind of like mention this as far as like a tip so if you have any spf that you just recently bought or just you do, you just don't like it on your face just make sure you use it on your body and your neck this product is so perfect i actually recommend this for my husband as well because especially if you hate sunscreen wearing sunscreen in general on your body because sunscreen can be quite heavy this product is so so lightweight and it provides really good sun protection i uh, would i wish this would have worked on my face this just breaks me out like no other i don't know what the ingredient is but it's like literally just a water gel and it's so so lightweight and it's an spf so that's just a quick tip for any of your spf products that you kind of don't agree with just use it on your arms and your neck because then you're basically not wasting any product <laughs> While I'm waiting for everything to settle, I'm just going to apply some lip balm. Normally, I would just try a lip balm, like plain lip balm, but I've been testing out lip plumpers. And this Sephora one, this one with the, the tinted version, I actually really like it. It does tingle, but I find that it doesn't really like hurt or anything like that. And it does make a difference as far as kind of like plumping your lips, which is really nice. To begin my look, as always, this is my holy grail product, so it never leaves my makeup routine. It's always the first step. Even if I'm trying out a different primer, I always prep my skin with the Smashbox Priming Water because it's just so nice. It's hydrating. It just, I feel like it just makes a difference. 
Now that that spray has dried on my face, let's move on to foundation. So for today, I am wearing the IT Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. It has SPF 40, so I figured it'd be perfect. And for the finish of this, it is very glowy. And if you're oily for the summer, just kind of beware. Just make sure you set it with a good powder. But I do really like this. It looks really nice on the skin. It covers my skin really well. If I don't already have a review on this, I will link it on the info bar. But if not, stay tuned for a proper review on this foundation since I did film like the before and afters already. But you guys will see that today as well. Um, to apply this, I'm just going to use this brush. It's super cute. I got this from an Ipsy bag from Farah. It's called the 820F. So I'm just going to apply a little bit just so you can see the coverage. I chose this foundation today because I won't be able to wear this later on. I can probably get away with it if I wear this with other, if I pair this with darker products because this is a little too light. I have this one in the shade medium tan. And given the weather, I know I'm just going to get darker. So I... I mean, it does blend in pretty nicely, but I feel like for the most part, I feel it's going to be a little too light for my skin. So I'm just going to show you briefly in how it looks. This brush is super quick. It's like a, it's a flat top, but it's angled and it's super quick in applying foundation. So here's just the coverage of that. I think I'm satisfied with this coverage. It looks so nice. I love that it's kind of glowy. And here's the other side without the product. So you can see it really does kind of... It does a really good job in like evening out my skin tone, kind of covering up the broken capillaries around my nose and my acne scars. It's really pretty. For my under eye concealer, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. Um, this is new in my collection and I actually really like the formula. This isn't as thick as Shape Tape and it's not as heavy as Shape Tape but it's not as thin as the creamy shape tape formula, which is kind of like a nice in between and I've been really enjoying using this. The shade that I have here from underneath my eyes is Honey and I think it's perfect. It's not too light and it's skin tone enough that it actually conceal and just doesn't brighten. So I think it's a really pretty under eye concealer. I know the rule is you're not supposed to use powder on top of cream, but I'm gonna use a cream bronzer and blush, but I wanna set my face first. I just I just work that way. I think it makes the product stay better and it just doesn't move the product underneath if I set it with powder. So I'm gonna set everything with powder right now. I'm gonna use the Lift and Luminate number no. seven powder for underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use a powder that I've been loving. This is so good if you have oily skin, from the drugstore but this one right here is really nice for underneath the eyes it does a really nice job in kind of setting it doesn't crease and i think it's a, a beautiful powder for underneath the eyes and to set the foundation i'm using the revlon colorstay blot matte setting powder if you are oily this is so good. This is talk free. It kind of has like a slightly pink hue, but it doesn't really translate because it is just translucent. But this makes any of the foundations, I've been trying it with different foundations to see how wear, especially luminous foundations. And I feel like this product really helps it stay put all day long. It's super mattifying. I don't recommend it for using underneath the eyes. I find that this can be a little bit drying at the end of the day if you use it underneath the eyes. That's why I use a different powder. But for the most part, this, if you have oily skin, this is so good. Ever since I've gotten it and I've been experimenting with this powder, I've kind of put away my Bye Bye Pores powder. I have so many backups of this because when I like something, I'm pretty faithful with it. But I've actually put this away. I haven't um, taken this out because this powder has kind of been my go-to to set my face and every kind of luminous foundation I tried with it and they just last so much better with this powder. This is like magical. So I do recommend it. You can get this for like $9 at the drugstore. Highly recommend it. It's so good. For my contour bronzer, I'm going to use this CoverGirl concealer. It's I bought them together because they were like $3 on Amazon, but the shade that I got it in is in Deep Golden. I've been using concealers, especially the Makeup Revolution one, as like my contour shade. For today, I'm going to use this one right here. Again, I do really like the formula. This shade is actually quite perfect for me, so I really like it. I just do like one dot for 
each corner of my face and then I will be good to go. This is, this bleds out nicely. I mean, it is very, very pigmented, so just beware. So I have to wipe off a little bit of that, but it's so good. To blend out any kind of contour product on my skin, you need kind of a denser brush and I just love the shape of this. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. I have several versions of a tip, this type of brush because it's my favorite, it's my go-to. I think it just kind of suits my face shape, the way it contours and it's dense. dense enough to basically just blend out any cream product on the face. I think it works super well. The color is just perfect for me. Once it's blended out, I mean, it is a little bit intimidating when you first start out, but like just trust the process and trust your tools to kind of do the job for you because then it just blends in so nicely, giving you all the angles that you want. So nice, super pretty. I just did a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna apply a little bit. This is the brush that I've been using. It's from Luna Magic. I got a set of these and it just fits perfectly around the nose area. This brush has a slight angle to it and it's not super dense. It's like a baby version of that brush that I used from e.l.f. and I think it just suits the no my nose so well. It was just the way it applies the product. Very, very subtle. I just dipped a little bit in that dark concealer just to defied my nose a little bit. I mean, it needs all the help it can get. Since I'm doing like a cream products thing on my face today, I wanted to use this LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know how much I've been using this on a daily basis. It's so good. It's so pigmented. You just need the tiniest dot on your cheeks. This is what I usually do. And that's probably more than enough for both cheeks. I'm just gonna spread that. It's so pigmented and they last literally all day. I think this is might be my favorite cream blush product because it's not super waxy, you know? My oily skin just agrees with this product. It lasts all day and look, it's so, so pigmented. And you just need to blend it in really nicely. Again, I'm putting this on top of powder and I know that's like a big taboo, but that's what I, that's how I use this product because I'm oily, but it's just so, so pretty. The color that I'm wearing is called Blissful. I have Grace as well, and I know there's like eight shades in the collection, but they only carry three on the Ulta website. And so I'm waiting for like a sale on the LA Girl website to pick up the other shades because seriously, I can't stop using them. It's so pretty. I just love it so much. Normally I would finish my look after I do um, my eyeshadow, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow yet. So I'm just finishing up my complexion. And this is how I normally apply my makeup anyways. <laughs> I always do the complexion first. I know people do the opposite. I just, I like going to town with my complexion so that if I have my eyeshadow, I know I'm just gonna mess it up. I'm just gonna accidentally do this because I'm so used to how I do my makeup. I just, I'm just so used to my makeup routine being this way. So there's that and then there's that little flush. It's so pretty. To finish off the cream products on my complexion, I pulled out this Becca liquid highlighter. This is really, really old. This was, this is like the champagne pop collaboration. I have it in trio. It doesn't smell funny and like Becca's not around anymore. I mean, they are with Smashbox, but the original products are not available anymore. But the shade is in, this one is an opal and it's just really pretty. It just blends right into the skin. Next, I'm just gonna do my brows. I don't really do anything special, but I'm using the Juvia's Place pencil and then the NYX Stick It because if you haven't joined the bandwagon, this stuff is so good, especially if you have eyebrows are just straight and they don't stick up and you like that. You like the look of kind of unruly brows that's sticking up. I love that product so much. To prime my eyes, I'm just using this MAC paint pot. This one is in Lane Low. And out of all the paint pots, you know, the popular paint pots are like 
soft ochre or painterly this one suits my skin tone the best and i've never heard anyone like talk about this i'm not sure if this is a new shade but it's just perfect in kind of just evening out my under eye area i love the shade this one is called lay in low it's not super light and it's not as yellow as soft ochre and i think it's just really pretty like it just instantly brightens my under eye sometimes i just use this if i'm not wearing eyeshadow just to brighten up my eye area and i think it's like the perfect shade for eyeshadow today i've decided that i'm gonna use the natasha denona bronze eyeshadow palette because what screams summer than the bronze eyeshadow palette and i needed to show this some love so i don't particularly know what look i'm going for but it's not really much variation you can do it is just a very bronzy like warm eyeshadow palette so that's what we're going for today this eyeshadow palette doesn't have like a matte beige i'm just gonna use a the face powder i used to set the mac um paint pot so first I'm going to start with this color Beach and that's going to be my blending shade. So I'm just going to put that on top of my crease with a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush. This is the JH30. So any big blending brush that you have. So I think I'm going to do like an ombre sunrise sunset look. I don't know. But I'm going to take this color Ridge. And I'm just going to apply that underneath that color to kind of define my crease a little bit better. So this one just subtly on the top of my lid, just on the top of the fold. I'm trying to decide on the lid color, but every single time I use this palette, I always use palladium because it's my favorite shade. But I feel like we need to branch out and give the other shades some love. So for today, I actually haven't used the color Bliss and this, so I think we're going to go with copper instead of like a completely bronze look. So I'm just going to take the color Bliss just on the inner half of the lid. And that's actually really nice and subtle. And I haven't dipped into the shadow. And it's almost like duochrome. Oh, it has like a pink shift to it. That's pretty. I don't think I've swatched this eyeshadow palette like on its own. I think I just used it and I didn't want to... I like things when they're pretty in their packaging, but that shade is really, really pretty. I'm going to take the color Silk right here. I'm just going to use that for the inner corner using just the same brush because it's okay to use the same brush. <laughs> using the same brush, I'm just going to use the shade called Gloaming and I'm just going to apply that on the lower lash line if you can apply anything underneath your arch without making the face i commend you i try to control like my facial features when i do um tutorials and whatnot because it's just like you you know you make the funniest faces but when it comes to underneath the eyes like underneath like if you put if you apply mascara down there anything an eyeshadow you always have to do this because it kind of like just pulls your face down it keeps your eyes from watering it's necessary so i'm so excuse the face <laughs> okay still using the same brush because i just basically do the color switch i'm gonna take this shade right here this one is called high degree and i'm gonna use that for the outer half of the lids it's a nice contrast to the first shade that we applied so I want to keep my eyeball area just a little bit brighter so I just applied that color, the high degree color, just on the outer part of my eyeball just so to keep the center part a little bit brighter and I'm actually going to add a little bit of silk just in the middle for where, where the eyeshadows meet to make them a lot, lot brighter. We've lost a little bit of definition on the crease area from all the shimmer shades so I'm just going to take the color suntan and I'm going to use a smaller crease brush and I'm just going to basically just apply this to kind of define the crease a little bit, especially for me. So this is going to be a little bit higher on my lid because I have hooded lids. So they're basically going to be a little bit on top of my crease just so I can see the color better. Using a smaller flat brush, this one is from MOTD Cosmetics. 
I'm going to use this one to apply basically just the outer corner. I'm going to take, I haven't decided if I want to use magma. So we're just going to take the color magma and I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner just to darken up that color. And then shape wise, I'm just going to kind of flick it and wing it out just to bring the color up a little bit. So I think I'm pretty happy with this look. I like the look of kind of like the messy outer corner shadows. I don't know. I just, I don't like the really super precise looks. That's just my style, but I will clean it up a little bit because I want it to bring the shadow up just a little bit. So now I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm using this Ico Black Magic Cocoa Edit eyeliner. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I like it. I'm doing kind of like a summer bronzy look. I didn't want to bring in a black eyeliner so I wanted to use this brown one but for the most part when this dries down it looks really really dark so you can't really tell that it's like a brown liner unless you like look super closely but I'm just gonna line my eyes. So I'm gonna let that liner dry a little. This is a really wet formula for an eyeliner, which is kind of a good change in general because it never skips out on the line, but it does require you to wait a little bit for it to dry. And then you can like curl and apply mascara because if you don't wait, you're gonna get the liner all over your lash line and it's just gonna get messy on your lid. So for mascara today, I'm just using the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. If you I have a mini review of this mascara on my Instagram already if you wanted to see that. But I love that mascara. Super nice and unique at the same time. So for my lips today, I'm just going to line my lips with Max Whirl. And then the lipstick that I'm going to show you, I really, really like. So to finish off this look, this is newer in my collection. This one is from makeup by mario and this is one of the glowing lip products and it's so nice i have this one the shade bronze glow it it's a basically a shiny glorious lip balm and it like slightly tingles because it's supposed to be plumping and it's just super pretty on the lips I've been really into kind of shiny lipsticks, lip balmy shades, and this is definitely on the top of that list because it's so beautiful. Like it makes your lips so juicy. This kind of reminds me of the Maracuja Juicy Lip Colors from Tarte. And then a couple from the drugstore, these Flower Beauty lipsticks and the one from Milani that's kind of like a this packaging that's shiny and it gives a little bit of color but super pretty but the makeup my mario just is a little bit more special because it's just so shiny and i like how it feels on the lips because it has like a slightly tingly sensation it's so pretty i think it's really perfect for summer if you like that juicy lip look so that is pretty much it for this summer bronzy look thank you if you sat through this entire makeup application it's been a while since i've done kind of like a talk through tutorial or makeup application in general but i hope you guys have a good day thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye